In the SAP UFA core part 1, let's see SAP UFA libraries, SAP UFA controls, supported library combinations and SAP UFA versioning scheme. As we know SAP UF5 is SAP user interface for HTML5. It is divided into several JavaScript and UI libraries. UI controls are divided into several classes and also called as namespaces and further divided into subclasses. Default UI resource is SAP underscore UI underscore core dot JS. SAP UFA controls divided into several namespaces. As we have seen, we can refer the API reference in the website, such as SAP.m for mobile devices, SAP.ui for UI controls, and so on. Each further divided into several classes. Example, if we take SAP.ui, it is further divided into SAP.UI.app, which is a base class for application classes, SAP.UI.table for table controls, and so on. Note, API reference is structured exactly according to class schema. For respect to UI control constructor, events and methods are displayed can also access methods of superordinate elements due to inheritance. Example, implement a tooltip for a button because sap.ui.commons.button inherits the method set tooltip from sap.ui.core.element. Most common controls sap.ui.commons consists of text, input fields, drop-down boxes, label, etc. SAP.UA.table contains table controls and SAP.UA.UX3 implement user experience guidelines example shell or thing inspector. Most common classes for desktop applications SAP.UI class and for mobile applications SAP.M class. SAP.UI.common Controls. This class contains essential controls like simple controls with display functions, examples text, button, images, so on, simple controls with input functions, examples input fields, radio button, checkbox, etc., complex controls, examples accordion, application header, menu bar, and so on. Overview of simple controls with display functions. For each control like button, image, label or hyperlink, you can see the constructor. So for button, it is sap.ui.commons.button. Overview of simple controls with input functions. For autocomplete, you can see the constructor is sap.ui.commons.autocomplete. Complex controls are predefined controls that consist mostly of a number of other controls. Complex controls include the following controls. Accordion. This control consists of several sections. In each section, you can include other controls in turn. Application header. This control represents the header area of a page. You can include a menu, for example, in this control. Carousal. This control can include several other controls and you can navigate by button through the individual controls. Menu bar. This control represents several menu entries in a row. Row repeater. This control repeats any UI control in a row type display manner. 
UX3 controls sap.ui.ux3 example shell shell consists of application title work set item header item pane bar content tool pop up table control sap.ui.table for charts sap.viz controls for mobile applications sap.m contains most common controls and is comparable with sap.ui.commons sap.me is an extension of sap.m and currently includes mainly just the calendar control sap.market chart controls for mobile devices and is comparable with sap.vaz suit controls sap.suit for sap business suit example business control sorry business card control for own controls can extend ex existing controls or implement completely new controls an extend method is implemented in each ui control example sap.ui.commons.button.extend for extending the button control an extend method the core class is used for completely new control that is sap.ui.core.control.extend supported library combinations there are two sets of possible library combinations which are best described using the diagram below any of the libraries listed on the left hand side can be used with those listed in the middle and any of the libraries listed on the right hand side can be used with the ones listed in the middle the libraries listed on the left hand side cannot be used in combination with the libraries listed on the right and vice versa versioning scheme of sap ui5 the current version is 1.30.8 whereas 1.32.6 in open ui5 SAP UF5 uses a three digit version identifier. If you take an example of 1.25.3, these digits have the following meaning. The first digit that is 1 specifies the major version number. The second digit that is 25 specifies the minor version number and the third digit that is 3 specifies the patch version number. The version number for each new SAP UFA release contains a major and minor version number. The patch version number is only used to identify patches within a release. In the next video, we will see the SAP UFA Core Part 2. Thank you.